What up guys, Wyatt, AKA Y Dog here from the Vault Pro Scooters, here to bring you guys another custom build. Starting off at the top, I got the blue and purple fast and fast mix grips with their bar ends. And then these guys are gonna be sitting on the Ethic Dildegast bars in trans black. And then we got the Apex Gamma SCS clamp in blue, which is pretty unique because it's the only SCS clamp that I know of that comes with a triple clamp. And it makes the clamp a little lighter, but still maintains all the strength of an SCS clamp. And then the headset, we got the purple standard tilt headset, integrated of course. And then we've got the new tilt tomahawk fork in blue. They just released a new model of these so they can fit 120 millimeter wheels. That's always great. And then we got the Mad Gear MFX limited edition colorway deck. This guy comes in at 19.5 long by 4.5 wide. Perfect for those park riders out there. We've got these downside conspiracy wheels, V2, black on purple, with the vault velocity bearings, which are honestly the best bearings I've ever ridden. Super fast, super smooth. And then we've got the normal MFX grip tape that comes with this deck. Honestly, it's a little difficult to put this on, but it's not too hard because it's already cut out. You just have to line it up good. And then this deck comes with two sets of deck spacers. One of the pairs is a little smaller to fit normal wheels, and one of the pairs is a little longer because the normal Mad Gear wheels that come with their completes are actually a little thinner than standard wheels. So for this complete, we've just got normal downside wheels, so we're gonna use the shorter deck spacers. Damn, man. <laughs> this is, I told you, this is tragic. If you like look at the edges, like yeah. that whole edge and that one like. Damn, I <laughs> got so close. I got it. So whenever you're tightening your brake, you just want to make sure it's nice and tight, but you don't want to overdo it because that always, like almost 100% of the time strips the Allen head in the brake bolt and that's just a pain to get out. So just be careful when you're tightening your brake. Now we're gonna move on, put the wheels on. I right, got the back wheel. Now let's move on to the headset. The head tube is a little shorter and lower than uh, your average head tube. So I'm gonna have to add a headset spacer or two in here. I got these blue anodized one to match the fork and clamp real well. So let me just go ahead and put that on here. All right, you guys, so we ran into a little issue when we were dealing with the compression because this new tilt fork actually runs a thicker Whoa. a thicker compression bolt than your average one. So right now, the only compression kit that comes with the right size is the Tilt SCS, and we're running Apex, of course. So we found a bolt that fit, and we had to modify the top cap that it'll, so it'll fit this thicker bolt. So as of right now, we don't carry uh, new larger Tilt compression bolts and top caps, but they are gonna be releasing them soon, and we will have them, but until then, the only uh, SCS clamp that comes with the right size compression cap and bolt for the tilt forks is the tilt clamps. So you guys are always gonna wanna grease up your compression bolts, clamp bolts, and anything like that so they don't seize up because that's how they get stripped when you're untightening it or tightening it. So let me get this front wheel back on here. So yeah, these Downside wheels are actually, a, they come at a really good price and they're actually really good quality wheels and that paired along with the vault velocity bearings and they're just, they're awesome. They're super good wheels, super good bearings. You're in for a surprise. All right, last but not least, we got these bars. So these Ethic Dildegast bars are made of steel so they're super strong, but they only come in standard size diameter. So you can only run SCS as long as it's a standard size clamp or oversized if you have a shim. Or you can only run the Ethic ICS 10 compression kit because it has a built-in star nut that only fits the Ethic ICS bolt. And we got that. So yeah, we had to cut off the slit of these bars because they normally come with a slit and standard size or standard compression SCS does not require a slit because the clamp, the top half holds the bars, bottom half holds the fork, so there's no need for a slit to squeeze onto the fork. 
And yeah, here it is, guys. Uh, it's got the rainbow Madgear deck, the purple wheels, purple headset, blue fork, headset spacers and clamp, the trans black bars with the blue and purple mix grips. I think it came together, together real awesome. The colorways match perfectly. And it's a really good scooter for all you park riders out there with just a, a hint of street to it. So it could be considered like a hybrid scooter if you want. So this thing is park and street ready for whoever is gonna buy it. What's a custom build without the drop test, guys? So let me go drop it for you. Let's see how it sounds. As you guys could tell, it sounded awesome. So comment down below what you guys think of the scooter. If you like it, if you like me, this is my first video. And don't forget, subscribe to the Vault's YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, every form of social media. Follow me on Instagram at ydog, W-Y-Y-D-O-G. And follow mine and my friend's account at ride poop. No spaces. And yeah, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.